Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, Wednesday full schedule, full agenda for the Bianconeri, 12pm last training in La Continas, a small lunch between them taking the plane, Black Forest, Freiburg, because tomorrow there is a big game that we will know if yes or no we will qualify to the quarter final of that Europa League in the evening, this evening, press conference of Max Allegri, of course European competition means with a player next to him. Curious from you guys to know who you guess the player will be. Let me know in the comment. I will not influence you. I will not tell you who it will be. So let me know in the comment. I'm really, really, really curious. And while you are doing the comments, please back some more like, subscribe to the channel. Today, I'm not sure if I will be able to do the live translation of the press conference. Why? Because in my personal agenda, I have a fantastic video that could come up later today. What is it? Well, the minus 15 points, the salary maneuver, the hidden cards that were overhanded to Juventus finally. All these questions, at least we will try to answer them. Not me, but I have a fantastic guest, Giovanni Armanini, on the channel and he's really, really on top of these things. I read yesterday in Telegram a lot of your questions about the topic, so I read them. I will try to make a beautiful structure to ask as many as possible from them. So put the notification ring on so that you are absolutely not missing that video if you are interested in the near future of Juventus. Guys, we start with a top top topic, or at least top topic, a hot topic, one that is controversial, Kenan Ildis. We will speak about strikers, a bit of Mercato today in the video as well, so remain if you are interested in the new potential striker of Juve, attenzione, but let's start with Kenan Ildis. Kenan Ildis on all the pages, on all social media, he is sad, he is not happy, he wants to leave, he is disappointed because Juventus didn't keep their promises of playing him with next-gen he was not called up for the first team with Sampdoria, he's pissed off. This is what you are reading online today. Well, at least is it true or not, we have to go back to the origins of the story. 17 years old boy, come from Bayern for free. Juventus was fantastic to scout the Turkish player. They took him home, he was super happy. Why did he chose for Juve while having so many different offers? Well, because of a project. A beautiful project of him growing towards that first team and that's important that you remember because we will come back on that he's at juve what happened a few days ago or a few weeks ago his entourage spoke to the media and they said something really important they said Kenan Ildis is happy at Juventus, is doing well, is feeling well and he will be a Juventino for many years if the project is still valid guys no things to worry about. We can all be happy. We can be reassured that that player, the number 19 of our under 19, will become a future first team player of Juventus because he has the potential. Can I this? If you don't know him, he is a fantastic player that already played 31 games with the categories or in total this season, one game in Serie C, uh, except of that all with the under 19 in diverse competition. He scored 14 goals, six assists, Another category, I saw him live, he is impressive, he is really a player that has a bright future, so it makes sense that the media is on him, look at how he arrived at Juve, with a personal, with a personal media launch of a video, a teaser that was simply fantastic, we all reported it, not done by Juve, Juventus is not doing it for youth players, but done by his agency, well, they know he is a fantastic player, well, can I yield this? apparently sad why is that because if you're listening to juve he's absolutely not sad montero said a few days ago he's chanting he's singing he's dancing in the locker room if that's a guy that's sad what if he was really really happy what would he do beautiful words from montero they are reassuring us but not only juve that can calm down the voices all the people close to La Continasa, to Vinovo, to be exactly, because he's training in Vinovo, they're all reporting us that Kenan is feeling well at Juventus. So why are people speaking about that? Well, because there are some interest from bigger teams in terms of youth players. That means a Benfica with a fantastic youth academy. Well, they are on the player. They are on the player with promises 
talking with the agents and so on. They are, you know, he's in the eye of the big scouts of Europe. So we have to pay attention to that because this is true. This is correct. But Kenan has a contract until 2025 with Juventus. So if Juventus says, no, we don't want to sell him, he remains in Torino eh, for the next two years. So no problem about that. But what happened? We have to go back to the first press release of his entourage speaking about that project that project word has been changed with copy pasted of articles linking it with interest of bigger teams has been translated has been changed in terms of words to make the article looking better copy paste copy paste copy paste bigger 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 blowing up all that story that is saying that apparently he is disappointed, sad and so on because he's not playing with the next gen and that was the promise that Juventus gave him after the World Cup being promoted fixed to the next gen. A bit what happened to Dean Huysen from under 17, under 19 and half season playing now as a starter with the next gen and as a starter and he's doing it really well. Also was called up for some friendlies in December, you remember with first team where he did super well. Well, apparently he is disappointed. No, there are no promises from Juve to a single player about schedule. In three months, you will be there. In six months, you will be there. You will play with the next gen. You will play there. No, there is one promise for every single Juventino that is wearing that shirt or new player that is wearing that shirt that you will have a journey. Journey that we will try to bring you and that will meet your ambitions. If your ambition is to play with the first team, we will try to work with you so that you can reach it. And that's the opportunity, that is the promise. And it happened for the first time in history with a lot of players. Sule, Ealing Jr., even Barrenechea now, Miretti, and we can call and sum up other players that made that beautiful progression, that beautiful path to the first team. Every single player has his own path and that is made about merits, what is doing on the field, but also opportunities. Do we have the opportunity for him to play, for a player to play in the next category? Because taking players and sitting them on the bench makes absolutely no sense. So this is the promise for Kenan Yildiz. Kenan Yildiz at the moment, he is not sad. He doesn't want to leave. He's happy. But yesterday I was reading a fantastic article of Giovanni Albanese saying that we have to be paying attention. We really have to pay attention because the way that we are treating information today, manipulating and making things bigger than they are, can damage and are the first source of damaging a player. I give you a small story. If I have a PlayStation 4 and I'm playing and I am enjoying all of that, the PS5 comes out, okay? And my mother, because I'm a kid, my mother is coming to me and saying, you know what? Your father will buy you the PS5. I will continue to play with my PS4, but I will start enjoying the PS4 a bit less because I'm thinking and dreaming about the better, much faster, Without that sound of the PS4, I'm dreaming about the PS5. There are some high slow motion things with the PS5. I'm dreaming about it. I want it. But my father maybe never said something like that. So I receive false information and my hopes out of nowhere start to be bigger and I start to enjoy less what I'm doing today with my PS4. It's a bit the same story. And at the end, if my PS5 is not arriving fast, I will be really disappointed while my father in the story never said anything. Probably said one day, of course you will receive it one day. And that's a problem. So we have to be careful in when we are reporting and what we are reporting because the players, they read information and they can potentially remain really, really affected by it. Of course, they have to grow mentally. Of course, people, media will speak well and bad about players, but we have to Pay attention how we are manipulating the news, especially when these news are not 100% correct. We have to really pay attention. That's why I didn't speak too much about Kenan Yildiz in the last day. The last time I spoke about Kenan, I said he played a derby and we lost 3-1. I said he scored a goal, a fantastic goal, 
pay attention to the clips that are circulating online because you will think he's a phenomenal while in that game he ghosted 80 82 minutes he was totally nowhere and we deservedly lost that game by the way so we have to pay attention because maybe he will start also thinking like the ps4 under 19 i don't like it anymore no continuity and in this moment of exposure doing even better 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 what well, anyway we go to the other topics otherwise the video will be so 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 long and thank you to giovanni albanese for making a beautiful recap of the same thoughts i had well can i nail this he will be with the the seria chi he will be there because we are playing a game today at uh, 6 p.m and that will be really interesting. Apparently, he will start on the bench, but he is there. Nonge, also from the under-19, has been promoted for that game. It is not definitely. It's because they need it, because some players are injured and some players were promoting for the first team temporarily because of the emergency of the first team. After that game, they can remain they can go back without any problem. Now, we go to something totally different that I really want to go back on that. It is uh, Erling Holland that yesterday scored five goals, was subbed at the 62nd minute by Pep Guardiola. Some people were saying, hey, it's because of Messi. Pep was protecting his boy Messi that scored five. He didn't want that Erling was scoring that sixth and breaking that uh, record of Messi. Anyway, beautiful story, nice story. The guy is a phenomenal. He is a phenomenal. I don't care if you tell me yeah but four of them were tap-ins and one was a penalty i don't care he is there he has the flair he feels it he's strong also how he's handling the media fantastic player well l'équipe is putting et holland or holland et extraterrestre martian holland well guys if you go back to two three weeks ago he was totally nowhere and people were saying he's overrated he's a fraud there are so much better players this player is better he will never do it if you're looking at the numbers that the guy is doing at such a young age we need balance it is impossible to be a martian today and yesterday a fraud a bit of balance anyway the five goals brought me back to years ago when Fabrizio Ravanelli was able to score also five in a European competition against the Bulgarian team CSKA Sofia go back watch Fabrizio Ravanelli so it's not always the other ones we also did it and we can be proud of our, the history of Juventus today is the birthday of Paul Pogba we already spoke about it yesterday I don't want to speak too long about it I wish him one thing I wish him to see him again smiling as when he was a kid I want him to feel that joy I wish him health being healthy and being able to come back on the on the field and to smile he will have my support I already spoke about it I will patiently wait and then we will see what he will do on the field speaking briefly about the game of tomorrow well Di Maria is at doubt he can potentially travel with the team but maybe not starting from the first minute can be a problem because Chiesa should be not be there for that game we will not risk Federico Chiesa the squad list will be communicated later today so we have a problem offensively we will have to find how we will play who can potentially play behind Vlaovic Miretti with Moiskin that can give some rest to Dusan Vlaovic but first of that first of all we have to win let's see they spoke about Mercato as you saw well there is the idea of Martinez the goalkeeper of Argentina I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's a... Uh, you know, the behavior really annoyed me of that goalkeeper then fantastic at the World Cup. I didn't know him before. I didn't follow him after. I don't know. Let me know. Guys, tell me what you think because me personally, I don't know. But then they are going with Gazzetta dello Sport with Juve Attacco a Scamacca. The attack for Scamacca. I was happy when he went to West Ham because he didn't go to Juve. I don't want Scamacca, guys. I say today on the 15th March, I repeat, I don't want Scamacca. Then if he comes, he comes, I will support, I will give him a chance. But today, today, I really don't really want him. Then they are speaking about another news about Mercato. They are speaking about uh, Wilfried Nonto that could potentially be asked for Juventus to actually lower the price of McKenny. Hmm can be interesting but first of all and i always told you and that's why i will not make the big headlines about it at the moment i need to understand what juventus plans are in terms of 
competitions, European, yes or no, what we will have and so on and so on. We will talk about that a bit later with Giovanni Armanini. What about the other pages? Well, Corriere dello Sport is speaking about Inter that won yesterday. No, actually they did 0-0. They qualified Gazzetta dello Sport as well, speaking about it. They had a lot of luck. Guys, I wished that they were losing, but luck is luck. I, I will never say that they were only lucky or whatever they will score they did the minimum to qualify congratulations to both teams of milan i wish they would lose i hope they will lose really soon let's see about napoli and that's the last thing i say about the about it on the channel about napoli everyone is already saying that napoli is at the quarter final they need to play today guys 99 they are there but attenzione because in football and that's the beautiful the beauty of football everything can happen you never know, 2-0 of Frankfurt. At the 90th minute, you go to extra time. A goal, boom, boom, Freiburg qualify. You never know, you never know. Calma, calma, calma. They should. But... Dai, Maximo Fly, grazie, forza. Juve.